What what leads you to going into the Marine Corps, and then how was how was your time there? Well, honestly, uh, Indian people have a great respect for their veterans. Mm -hmm. You know, they always honor their veterans. Even a little boy, uh, we would go somewhere, mom would say, go shake his hand, go shake his hand, you know. And so I always uh, admired uh, veterans in the military. Mm -hmm. And uh, my uncle, Charles, was a Marine in the Second World War and in, in, in Korea. And, uh, in, and he was still in during Vietnam. And so he, did, he would, uh, when I went to the West Coast, uh, he he came he came to the training center when I was still in boot camp. And he came here to see me, and uh, there was another Pratt in there, and they got they brought him out. And my uncle said, "That's not my nephew. Get this guy out of here. He's a guy. He's running out." And, and I, <laughs> me and this me and R D were were uh, we went through boot camp. We went to the military police together. We went to Vietnam together with the recon unit. Mm -hmm. And so we're really close, and we stayed close until he passed away about a year ago. <clears throat> and uh, my uncle, uh, I always admired him, you know, and uh, all, of, all of the family always talked about him, you know, and, and that uh, he was a Marine Raider in the Second World War, you know, and just I had the greatest respect for him. And, and uh, he, uh, when I got out and was coming home, I, I went to see him before I came back to Oklahoma. And, and he said, "Let's go eat it. Let's go eat a steak at the at the slop shoot. What they call a slop shoot? <laughs> he said, Let's go eat." So we went over there and we sat down and he was talking and and a sergeant major and you know came down. And he sat down with my was friends with my uncle. You know, my uncle had ribbons like this all the way up to his shoulder. You know, and and then pretty soon another. I think he was a first sergeant came and sat down and. Uh, they just kind of ignored me. I was the last corporal. They just ignored me, and they were all talking and laughing. And, and people would come by and throw money on the table. Or they'd come by and they'd put a drink on the table, you know? And damn, the, the table's just full of $5 bills, you know? And, and uh, <clears throat> finally, one of them said, uh, asked about me, and my uncle said, well, he said, he's, uh, he just came out of Vietnam with a recon unit. He was there with a the recon unit uh, uh, guarding the base and, and picking up shot down pilots. Picked up a lot of pilots. Like they were shooting down a lot of helicopters and a lot of spotter planes. And, and, uh, and one of them asked me, he said, uh, oh no, I, first off, uh, they kind of, they got up and it's, you know, and they was walking around shaking hands with everybody. And I, and I said something to my uncle and he said, they're Congressional Medal of Honor winners. That's what they're putting that money down for. See, all these Marines are throwing money on their table. He said, they're congressional, both of them are congressional medal honorers. And I said, holy smokes, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was, and, and I, to this day, I can't remember their names. I was so stunned to sit there. And when they came back down, sat down, and, and uh, one of them said, well, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm trying to catch a hop, which is a hop on an airplane, to go home. And he said, you be at the base at six o'clock in the morning. He said, well, I'll put you on a plane. I said, my uncle said, all right, you know. So uh, when I went to the base, they put me on the commandant's airplane. The commandant of the, of the United States Marine Corps, they put me on his plane. And I'm sitting there, and it's a little prop job. <clears throat> you know, it's not a, not a big fancy jet, it's a prop job. Of course, this is in 65. And and the, all these officers are running around, and I, I don't think I even moved a muscle till they, they landed in Dallas, Texas to let me off. I mean, they made a special stop in Dallas, Texas to let me off, and I thought, man, that those Congressional Medal of Honor winners have a lot of stroke, you know? They have, when they ask somebody to do something, they, people just do it for them. And uh, so that's how I came home. And I, and I always remembered that, you know, and I said, I'm sorry I don't remember those two guys' names because I would love to, to have read about their exploits and what they've done. <clears throat> yeah. Two Marine guys, you know, and my uncle was, was, was friends with all these guys. You know, he knew all them old timers, you know, World War II guys. And, and he was missing in action twice. And he's the reason I joined the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. because of him. Yeah. So... Wow, that's, I mean, 
as reasons go to join a Marine Corps, having someone like that in your life to, to look up to and follow and all the, you know, I'm not surprised when you said that my family looked up to him because of the, you know, the, it's, it's I've, empowering. I've, I've it's got his powerful. picture. We've got his picture and his wife in our in a bedroom. Yeah, you know, all these years I had hung on hung on the wall at, at my at our house mm. in El Reno, hung on the wall there, and and uh, I don't even know how I got it, but I got it. Yeah, and it, it's just really, you know, he's he's always been special to me. Mm.